BBLA 51, turn right, heading 180. 014, Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. Airlines within the United States are posting their quarterly results. Now, typically quarterly results are always informative, but before the pandemic, they may not have been covered here on the channel. However, given the difficulties airlines have gone through in the past two years, they really are our best indication of how an airline is performing within the industry and whether or not it has been able to recover some of the lost demand while also allowing us to better understand what areas they still see improvement needed on. Today's focus sits with American Airlines as the top title does suggest, with the airline reporting a US $169 million profit for the third quarter of this year. Now, this was only following more than US $990 million received in a federal payroll support scheme. The most significant numbers we want to take a look at, though, include that of the revenue for the quarter. American Airlines reported revenues of some US $8.97 billion, so basically $9 billion. This is a considerable figure, but more importantly, how does it compare to 2019? This was, of course, a year where the pandemic was not impacting the schedules and overall operations at airlines. Unfortunately for American Airlines, it is still down 25% in comparison to two years prior. However, what is encouraging is that for 2020, they actually only reported US $3.7 billion in revenue for the very same quarter. So that's a massively significant jump in revenue of some $5 billion USD, something they can be very proud of in just a year difference. American Airlines has significantly been aided by the return to travel demand over the course of this most recent summer, which has been thanks to the United States generally relaxing border restrictions within its own country. However, ultimately, the profits could have definitely been more, and that really relates to passenger revenue, which could have been a lot higher had the recent variant not played havoc with bookings and seen a slight drop-off in demand for the airline. Also, what is worth noting is during the third quarter of this year, international travel was still only just getting underway, so American Airlines had not really reinstated all their international network. Come next summer, you could definitely argue that they will have a full international network once again, and I'm sure we'll see the passenger revenue climb even higher. At the end of the third quarter, American Airlines liquidity stood at around US $18 billion, a very healthy amount. Doug Parker, who is the chairman and CEO of American Airlines, commented on the results, saying, The American Airlines team continues to demonstrate its resilience and ability to execute, enabling us to deliver our best quarter since the pandemic began, as measured by pre-tax financial results. While the rise of the Delta variant delayed some of our revenue recoveries, it has not stopped our progress. We are incredibly proud of the team's hard work to operate a great airline and with the network, cost and fleet simplification actions we have taken. We're confident American is well positioned as the recovery takes hold. Now, this coming winter, American Airlines is still not expecting to hit complete pre-pandemic levels and remains hesitant about fulfilling its total scheduled operations. They still believe that revenue will drop around about 20% compared to pre-pandemic levels, while they'll see capacity overall down about 13%. I will actually be flying American Airlines in a little over two months on Los Angeles to Philadelphia, Philadelphia to Montreal, Montreal to Chicago, and then Chicago on to Los Angeles. So I'm very excited to see what they're like. And of course, I'll report back to you here with trip reports. What are your thoughts, though, on the recent news at American Airlines, especially involving their quarterly results? You can let me know, like always, down in the comment section. And if you are new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe. There's a lot more aviation news content to come as we wrap up the year. Thanks once again, and I will see you next time.